I'm going to show you how to increase the range of your ancient garage door opener. So when I moved into this house, the owner hasn't used this garage door opener for over 15 years. Uh, he told me he's never had a remote for it from when he bought the house. Um, so the first thing I did is um, went out and bought uh, some remotes. Uh, the cheapest of which was this uh, one from Canadian Tire. This was uh, 35 bucks. Um, this one matches my um, garage door opener because it has dip switches. So see the dip switches there? I copied those to the dip switches on here and I set it to multi-code Stanley. Now, mine is a Beaver um, and I just did a quick Google and uh, the Beaver garage door openers were a rebranded Stanley unit. So after I programmed uh, my new opener, uh, I managed to get the door opener to work from about a meter. So about here, the garage door opens. So uh, any further than a meter away, I got absolutely nothing. So what I wanted to do is be able to open the garage door from the outside, of course. So I looked online and a lot of people uh, are saying that you can extend the wiring to the antenna and this will fix your problem. So what I did, I stripped back the little antenna wire and then I got a big long piece of cable, super long. I ran it all the way down to the front of the garage, all the way to the outside and then set it up all the way across the front of my garage there. So one, after I'd done that, I went outside and tested it. And yes, it did work from outside, but it still only worked a meter away from the cable, which if I was in my car, it wouldn't be enough. So what I'm gonna show you now is how to improve the range without even adding a cable. You can do it simply by adjusting a potentiometer inside the garage door opener. Okay, so I've now taken the cover off the garage door opener and what I'm looking for is um, some kind of potentiometer, something that I can put um, either a screwdriver into or an Allen key to slightly, what I think is, it slightly adjust the frequency of the garage door opener. So on the back of mine, you can see this little guy here and it takes a, an Allen key. So it's just on the main side of the board there. So what I'll do, I'll get up and I'll show you what we're working with. So on this side, what you can see, uh, if I put the Allen key in, I'm just gonna swap hands here with the camera. So when I put that, when I put the Allen key into it, it's just a potentiometer. And you can see the little, I'll put two little marks there. So the two marks represent where my potentiometer um, originally was. And then what I did, I wound the screw in a couple of turns, that adjusted the frequency, made it more in line with my new garage door opener. And now I can open my garage door from really far away, right down the street. So make sure you mark where it is originally so you don't mess it up and you can put it back. And then just give it two screw turns and then go outside and test to see how it works. So I'm just gonna to prove to you for this 19, looks like a 1980s unit. Um, oh yeah, you can actually see it says Stanley here on this label there. Um, have we got a year on there? No, but I'm just gonna go outside now and show you how far away I can do it. <clears throat> so I just get my opener. So there's the garage. I'm just gonna walk down the street. I'm gonna zoom in so you can still see the garage door. Yeah, let's just zoom in. All right, so I'm about 30 meters away now. I'm gonna keep going a bit further. Okay, get to the end of the street here. All right, so you can just still about see my garage. So I'm just at the intersection now. Down goes the door. 
perfect.